Okay, so today we're replacing a mesh tarp on a cable driven tarp system. In this case, it's a mountain tarp tarp system. Have the tarp, the new tarp, about one third of the way onto the bows, as you can see. After getting the old tarp off, and if it's an old ruined tarp, just cut it off and throw it to the side, um, get rid of it. Then with a new tarp, a couple ways to go about it. You can actually take all of the bows off of the trailer. In this case, it's a 35 foot trailer, so I could take them all off by disconnecting the easy bow end right here from each bow, taking all the bows down to the ground, feeding the bows through the pockets right here in the tarp, or I can try and keep one side of the tarp connected to the cable, as you can see here. So the bows are all connected to the cable down, in this case, the driver's side. And if we slide over to the passenger side, you can see that the bows, the bows are disconnected from the cable on the passenger side. So here's our bow, here's our clip that will connect back to the bow after we get the tarp on. The trick here is to um, slide it onto the, the bows a little bit at a time. Typically the best place to start is the rear of the tarp because in a lot of cases you'll have what's called a double bow or a power bow. As we can see here, this is our double bow. So I got the pocket for the double bow started onto the double bow. And then I worked my way down. As you can see, the passenger side of the trailer, one bow at a time. And as I go, I'll pull it up a little more and a little more. And then once you get all of the bows started into each pocket, you can then go back to the rear and start shimming them across each individual bow. You'll get maybe, maybe four or five inches per pull. You work your way down, work your way back uh, until you ultimately get the tarp the whole way across each bow. So we'll take a look at it a little later once I start connecting the, um, the bow ends onto the bows. We have the full tarp in place, uh, pulled across all the bows to the far side. This is what's referred to as a anti-pollution mesh tarp. So the tarp itself will come to approximately the inside edge of the can. And in each bow, we're gonna put a self-tapping screw through the tarp and into the bow right here. And that'll secure the tarp so it won't slide back and forth on the bows as you're traveling down the road. Next step is to secure the tarp, secure the tarp to the bows and then we'll replace all of the easy clips on the end of the bow and we'll test her out. An important tip to note, when you're securing the tarp to the bow, make sure that the screw that you run through the tarp into the bow is centered on the bow sleeve that runs through the tarp. You don't wanna have it left or right of center or left or right of center um, because then the tarp isn't going to sit square from side to side. So make sure you run that screw right through where the center of the bow sleeve is. Have a couple of the clips reattached over here with the tarp secured. And as we run down the cable a little more, see one of my clips hanging here. I'm gonna bring it in and secure it on that bow right there. And we'll continue that process the rest of the way down this side. And then when we go to the other side, because we didn't remove the bows from the cable on the far side of the trailer or on the driver's side of the trailer, all I will have to do is put the screw back in to the bow. And there's our final installed tarp, reinstalled tarp. All the bow clips, easy clips down the passenger side. Everything's secured on the driver's side. Nice and square at the rear of the trailer. Bring it back as close as we can to the pulley wheel. We have maybe maybe five to six inches between the top of the pulley wheel and the center of the last bow. So 
good installation, works well. Please feel free to call me if you have any questions. 757-615-4379 and I will have all of my contact information at the end of this video as well. Thanks for watching. Take care.